Agate News A. Proud to be a part of Dunkin' Donuts' very first Give the Gift of Life. This is the Fall Harvest Fun Fest. Dunkin' Donuts is joined with some great organizations, including Donate Life Connecticut. And here with me are Mike and Jamie Rotatori and their adorable son, Aaron. Hi, Aaron. You guys came to Donate Life Connecticut with a very personal story. At a young age, Aaron really needed help. Yes. Tell us about that. Um, when Aaron was three weeks old, he was diagnosed with a condition called cardiomyopathy, which is basically a weakening of the heart muscle. So because his heart wasn't working properly, it was affecting all the other organs in his body. It was affecting his activity level. It was basically affecting everything in his daily life. At just three weeks At old. At three weeks old, And you're yes. a brand new mom, which is an uncomfortable place to be for Absolutely. anyone. Absolutely, yes. And then you add in this life-frightening event. At seven weeks old? At what point did you realize he needed a heart transplant? He was probably about six or seven weeks old when they finally told us that he was going to need to be evaluated for a heart transplant. Um, at that point it was hit or miss whether or not he would actually need one. Um, and because there are no facilities in Connecticut that do heart transplants on children, we ended up going to Children's Hospital Boston um, to be evaluated. When doctors told you that your son needed a heart transplant and such a little baby as a newborn, where did your mind go? Um, well, seeing as I have a background as a nurse, um, immediately I just figured uh, he was going to die <laughs> when he was first diagnosed. And then after kind of absorbing the information and doing some research, I realized that with this transplant, he can be given a second chance to do all the things that little boys do and grow up. You needed a miracle and a miracle came through. At what age was he when you learned that he was going to get a heart? Um, he was 13 months old when we got the call that he was going to uh, be transplanted and at that point he had been in the hospital for three months and we were at our wits end and so it was definitely a miracle. Clearly the heart transplant has been a huge success. Aaron is now six. A happy little guy, right? Yes, he is. I know he's been out here <laughs> painting pumpkins today, and yes. he's even a, a poster child, so to speak. Yes, he is. Um, he is actually on the inserts for uh, the DMV license renewals. Um, so for the next few years, if you get a license renewal in the mail in Connecticut, you'll receive a card with this picture on it uh, promoting organ tissue donation. Oh, does he have to do more surgeries now? Hopefully not. Um, he does get checked out up in Boston four times a year. He does go through a procedure to check out um, his coronary arteries and to check if he has rejection. But other than that, a couple blood draws here and there and we're good to go. A real miracle. Aaron, can I get a high five? High five? Yeah. <laughs> He's high six. Five. What can you expect? He's just six. Well, hopefully Aaron's story of his heart transplant at just a newborn will motivate you to donate organs as well. And to get more information, it's real simple. Just log on to DonateLifeNewEngland.org and know that you can save a life.